fine, everybody. Very good morning. So we're actually at the flea market this morning. Well, nice view of the van in front of us, but I promise we're at the flea market. I just woke up this morning. My mom's in the car. Ella's in the back. And I really want to go to flea market today and see what we can't find. So let's see if there's anything good. So I'm kind of here looking for maybe some outdoor stuff or stuff for the kitchen, like anything rustic-y or antique-y, like just something that looks old. I'm not talking about the old men, ma. <laughs> not bringing one of them home. I ended up buying that chandelier on the right and there's a little shelf next to it. I'll show you guys a little bit later, but we're gonna keep it there for now. I wanted that chandelier, but unfortunately it's already sold. So I got that one and I figured I'll just spray paint it. Came across these tables, a couple of dragon ones, but look at this beautiful vintage one. That is gorgeous. That'd be a gorgeous coffee table, right? Like, wow. I'm just curious, I'm gonna ask. I probably won't be able to buy it, but still, never know. But we did come across, look how cute. It's a mini little chair for Ella. We just gotta figure out how much they are. We got a bunch of pretty cool stuff. Um, you guys are kind of getting a sneak peek at the moment, but I'll be doing a haul on these as soon as I can. Just one of these is mine. But some pretty good stuff. I think the post office truck is uh, jamming. So we're just leaving the flea market now. Um, I showed you a little bit of what I got when I was packing it into the trunk, but that chandelier that you might have caught a glimpse of. Well, actually, no, I did. I did film that chandelier. Um, I want to go to. We're gonna head to Walmart right now because I wanted to find like a spray paint. I want to find a spray paint to kind of make it look old and like rustic and stuff. So that's where he where we're heading to now. So we'll see what we can find. All right, so we're at Walmart. We're looking at these flowers for the whole DIY project I'm doing for the chandelier. And we got this color. This is like a blushed nude. And I really like these. And I think I'm going to pick up some of these as well. Because my mom was showing me how they hang. You see what I mean? So I might do that. Alright guys, so Ella is going down for a nap. So I think it's project time. So I just got done filming a... Um, flea market haul so I'm not going to show you guys every little piece that I got today simply because you know I don't want everything to be spoiled but you will see a few things as you're working with me so I figured today it might be fun to do this chandelier project so all I'm doing right now is I am unscrewing the bulbs because I don't actually want the bulbs at all um, I'm going to see if these bulbs will actually work um, and save them just in case I need them for a lamp or if any of my bulbs break um, but really, you know, this is just what I need. Um, so I ended up going out and picking out that spray paint. Um, and I did, I did stick with the, um, satin vintage blush. So this is just from Rust-Oleum, um, American Accents. So I just got this at Walmart. So I'm going to go outside. Well, you know what? Follow me outside and I'll explain everything I'm about to do. So excuse my neighbor mowing his lawn, but I brought the chandelier over to a spot in my yard that I really don't care if uh, spray paint gets on. But what I'm going to do is just end up spray painting this entire thing. Actually, I'm probably just going to wipe it down real quick because it's a little bit dusty. Um, but yeah, I'm going to spray paint the entire thing and then I'll let it dry outside and we'll go back inside and start figuring out the whole plant situation. So let's go ahead and shake this up. Shake, shake, shake. All right, pop you off. All right, let's get some spraying. Oh, 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 I wonder if we can see him. Where'd he go? He was just here, a gigantic, oh, I think that's where he went. So I'm sure there's better ways of doing this, but this is just the way that I'm going to. So I'm gonna take the uh, glass pieces that came with the chandelier, and since these will have flowers in them and will need to be watered, I'm gonna block off this hole. 
Um, I, I don't really care if the chandelier doesn't, you know, work, like function like a regular chandelier after, um, you know, it, it, after it has the plants in it. Um, but what I'm going to do is take a little bit of plastic wrap and wrap it around tightly around the hole. Whatever is extra, I'm just going to tie, tie off so it stays. Wrap it around like so. Then I'm going to just take some scotch tape. I, I think it would be better to use, you know, more sturdy tape, but this is unfortunately all I have at my disposal. So I'm just going to wrap this right around the saran wrap to give it kind of a tighter fit. Well, it's uh, screwing up on me. Screwing up on me. All right. There we go. So I'm going to do this for the rest of them, and then we'll bring you back to fill them up. Okay, so I got all of my little glass pieces here covered in saran wrap. So all I did was go to Walmart and get this potting mix soil, super cheap, I think under $5 for this bag. So I'm gonna open this up, I can't. I actually use this soil for like a lot of my plants actually, so it's pretty good. Oh, all right, open you up. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have like a little gardening shovel, so I'm just gonna use a spoon. It's fine, it'll wash. It's not not a big deal. Oh my god, I just got it everywhere. That's what I was trying to avoid. But hey, if you want to do this outside to make less of a mess, I would recommend that, but we've already committed. So what I'm gonna first do is just fill up the bottom a little bit of each of these with some of the soil. Now that they're all filled up, I went out and I bought two types of plants. I had gotten the ones that I showed you with like the vines and I got three of these. So I'm gonna take them out. Boop, boop, boop. I'm just gonna squeeze the bottom until they slide out. Take that off. Now, we're gonna figure out how to do this. I might move this outside. All right, I think this will work a little bit better at least this way. Things can get messy without being too big of a deal. So let me move this aside. So what I was doing was taking just one of these little, let me move you a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these and then one of these plants and I'm going to kind of rip up the bottom a little bit because I don't want them to be that deep. But still keeping the roots there. And I'm actually, gonna split it too. Some of you are probably cringing. <laughs> like what, what, what are you doing? What are you, I don't know what I'm doing either. All I'm trying to do is separate them a little bit, but to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that with these, which is fine. So I'm just gonna dig a little hole for them to go and sit in. All right, perfect. And then I'm gonna have to do the same thing with these, but I might be better off getting a pair of scissors before I absolutely destroy the plant ah, okay didn't want to come out for a second um but either way i'm gonna have to take a little bit off of the bottom of the plant because they're simply too thick or too long rather and then i'm gonna try to split up this plant as well all right so this is what it's looking like so i'm just gonna take a little bit of this extra soil and pack it on in there so they're nice and secure all the way around and we'll give these a nice water too and I don't mind that they're all kind of leaning one way I'll just make sure that you know the the way the plant is leaning is the way the plant is hanging off of the chandelier so that's not a big deal so that's one of them I think it looks absolutely gorgeous so I'm gonna finish the rest of them and then once the chandelier dries We'll put them on and see how it looks. All right, after putting a planter on, I realized that the plastic that we put on the bottom of these really isn't gonna do anything because the holes gotta go there. So that's fine, it was just a wasted step. Um, but I am going to screw this down and we will get each plant on and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. I'm so excited, I think it's gonna be so pretty. Crap, I suck. Okay, so I was supposed to take these little rings off. So unfortunately, I'm actually gonna have to like empty these out. So just empty them out on my porch, not a big deal. And then I stick these on here and then I screw these in. Cause I was trying to figure out, I'm like, these are not 
staying. <laughs> like they're not staying very well, but all right, I think we got it. I think I figured it out. This is kind of difficult to do with no hands, but there we go. And then I can go ahead and take some of this dirt and fill it back up, stick the plants in. All right, now that I know what the hell I'm doing, we will continue this. And I'm really stoked to show you the finished product. So I need to water and of course hang it. I mean, over here got a little bit, whoa, my goodness, almost just fell through. Um, over here, you know, got a little bit messed up as I was trying to separate the plants, but I'm hoping once they're watered and hanging again, you know, they'll kind of fix and fill out a little bit more. But over here looks great. <laughs> um, I'm really overall happy. Um, I'm gonna have to wait for TJ to be able to hang it up and show you guys the finished product, but um, I need to get some water on these bad boys and clean up my porch, but yeah, there she is. God, I am sweating, but I got it up. <laughs> so I ended up screwing it up there. Um, I think it looks so beautiful. I'm so excited. Like, look at that. That just looks so nice. I ended up putting it over the table. Um, just so, uh, I knew it, was, it would kind of hang low, so I didn't want it over the bench to hit our heads on. I am so happy. <laughs> Who needs a man? No, I still need a man. <laughs> um, but I'm going to screw the cover thing back on. <sighs> I'm sweating and I'm wet because whatever I water the plant with is now on my pants. By the way, in the haul that I filmed, I totally forgot to show this umbrella and this little chair. Um, this chair I got from the flea market for only $2, and the umbrella we just got at Walmart for, I think, 10 So, a little shady area for her to chill out in. Still outside, I had an idea, but I kind of want to ask you guys for your opinion. Um, just to see, like, shoot ideas around almost, but you can see that Ella's toys are quickly taking over my yard so what i was thinking about doing is because we're going to extend this fence this way along the lilies and then along the path that i've been creating over here with the lilies so i'm thinking about turning this area like almost this corner once it's fenced off into ella's play area and then this bench literally just turn it around like if we just take it off the hooks we can turn it around so that way you know what I mean like I'll have a place to sit and hang out with her and like we'll have this whole area all full of her stuff and that way like her stuff is, isn't everywhere but it's more like organized chaos I guess um but I think I'm gonna like almost mulch uh, uh maybe get like two by fours or something map out a, a rectangle and then mulch it um, and then that'll be our play area. We can move the swing over a little bit and stuff just because I was like My yard's being quickly taken over <laughs> by a two-year-old <laughs> So I don't know if you guys have any better ideas or like anything that you know You've seen or you've done with your kids um, Let me know but the, I think this is our best bet since the bench is right there I think this will be you know the best corner to do so in um, The only thing is you know, I do want to get a fence here so I don't have to worry about her you know, running into the street. I'm all about these DIY projects today. Oh, and by the way, yes, I'm in a bathing suit top. It is that hot out. It's only like 85, but the humidity, not at this moment, is actually cooling down, which thank God, but it was so, so, so hot. But I saw, once again on Pinterest, there was this adorable thing, and I want to create um, where the benches that I literally just showed you guys, we want to make um, a, a, an end table almost that's connected to the tree. So I saw this adorable idea on Pinterest of this tic-tac-tic-tac-toe board, but it was like, the tic-tac-toe board itself was painted on the table, and then the pieces were rocks. Um, with X's and O's drawn on them and I thought it was so cute and so simple so what I'm doing right now is I'm on the hunt for <coughs> I'm on the hunt for good sized rocks to do so so let's see what we can find I have a ton of rocks so I'm sure this won't be that hard so I found a handful of rocks so you're gonna want at least nine of them but I kind of liked how they're all different shapes and sizes I try to find them relatively close in size but what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and rinse these off so there's no dirt on them and then I'm gonna set them aside to dry 
he's not really used to her bathing suit yet. But we are, con con we are gonna continue this project. Now that I've given my rocks plenty of time to dry, I'm just gonna write, you know, like X on one, O on the other, and alternate until I run out of rocks. I have this super fine tip painter brush to do so, so I'll bring you back when these are done. Here they are with their first coat of paint done, so I'm gonna give them a few minutes to dry and then we'll go over it one more time. Ta -da! All right, here are the X and O pieces, all dried and ready to go. I just put them in this cheap bowl that I got at Walmart. Um, a couple weeks ago probably, but I love it. So when we get around to actually like building the table for this to go on, I'll absolutely show you these. Unfortunately, this vlog is only gonna have these pieces, but I love how it came out. All right, I'm so excited because we are on our way to go pick up my new laptop. Um, we do have to bring it to Apple because um, the girl's saying that she was able to get all of like her personal stuff off of it except for her applications it was saying that only apple was able to restore it to factory setting i don't know but either way we're heading out and i'm keeping my fingers crossed because i don't want to get too excited and then have something go wrong so oh cross your fingers with me that this will work i am such an idiot i forgot her money i forgot it on my microwave oh well, we have to circle back around and go grab the cash. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that! Woo! I'm so excited. So the computer is in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I got the computer. She did have the charger, which she wasn't sure if she had at first, but luckily she had it. So now we're going to make a quick trip over to an Apple store to get it reset to factory settings. Oh, I'm just so happy. I'll show you guys it when I get home. It's actually like an old MacBook, like a black one. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers the black ones. I don't know how old they are, but I'm like, I don't even care. I'm like, I really don't care about what computer I have. I just need something reliable. And I've had like PCs forever and none of them have lasted on me. They've all gotten viruses some way or the other. and they've just been it, it's been stupid i'm spending all my money on these laptops so i figured you know what max will last forever so i'm just really happy i got it for a really good deal i only pay, ended up paying 150 for it so hell yeah <laughs> all right let's go get it reset we're at the apple store but we have to wait in this line to talk to that woman in green over there it's really stupid hi babe 